In Portland, Oregon, near where I live, there's a charitable fundraiser event that's been going on for 40 years now. It's called Providence Festival of Trees, and the proceeds benefit Providence Children's Health Foundation. In addition to the main fundraiser, which is an auction of numerous amazingly decorated themed trees, they invite other groups to display or perform at the two-day public event. Our lug, Port Lug, has been participating since 2014, and this is the second time I've joined in on the fun, and it really is a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. Here's a view of the overall display. We were given a nice amount of space. We had around 12 people contribute to this display, and I think it came out great. Given that this is Providence Festival of Trees, we'll start with a tree mock. This was built by our member Grant and used around 8,000 two by four bricks. In addition to the tree, all the ornaments, presents, and even the bows are brick built. And of course, trains are a favorite of A Falls and the public alike. So here's the first of several trains that were part of the display. We also had Star Wars represented. This build may look familiar to some of you. Here are a few mocks that our member Rick brought for the display. This first one was motorized and capable of walking. Then we have a recolored TIE fighter being towed by some festive pod racers. Here's the next tree. I remember Jason built this one, and it was one of my favorites. I really like how well shaped and full it was. He used a lot of bamboo pieces for the foliage, and it worked out really well. Oh look, another train. <laughs> it's running past another mock that we'll see more of momentarily. This amazing mock was done by our member Martin. He started with a bunch of the Lego Winter Village sets and built them into this mech. I'll have a more detailed spotlight video on this build coming before too long. A couple of years ago, he did a classic space mech. See the link above for the interview I did with him for that build. And another build that might look familiar to Dave's Brickhouse regulars. And yet another train. You can never have too many, right? This is running around a large village that was put together by our member Angel. It looks really great, and I like how she used lots of ice cream scoops as snow. It worked very well. She told me they were on the pick-a-brick wall several times, and she used around three large cups for this display. And here we have a really neat amusement park ride built by our member James. There will be a spotlight video for this mock coming as well. This looks to be a very popular ride, given how many minifigs are waiting in the line. The movement is mesmerizing. Let's just hope the minifigs didn't eat lunch right before this, though. The trains keep coming. This one is very festive and sporting Christmas trees and poinsettias, as well as holiday lighting. It rose from the ashes of an accident, maybe going too fast around a curve, <laughs> that occurred while we were setting up the display. Here's another closer look at the large winter village. The way she mounted the reindeer and sleigh to the roof worked very well. And here's a bit more of the village that's at the base of Martin's winter village mech, including a nice frozen pond for ice skating. And now comes the last tree. This was built by our Technic Builder extraordinaire, Rick. He's known around here for building large Technic builds that use many parts. I'd love to see his parts supply at home at some point. I did an interview with Rick about this tree, and I'll have a spotlight video coming. And a few more varied shots from the show to put you in the holiday mood.
So that's a look at the Portlug display at Providence Festival of Trees 2022. It was so much fun with a great group of builders, an amazing display, and lots of interacting with the public, especially the kids who are always fun to talk with. If you happen to live anywhere near the Portland, Oregon area, I highly recommend you come check out the event for 2023. But until then, go build something that makes you smile.